the race to the White House is only heating up. Let's get our viewers up to speed with the latest. And the countdown is underway. Just a few weeks to go for the high-stakes U.S. presidential election. Let's have a look at some of the major developments in the race to the White House that we are tracking at this hour. The campaign battle is heating up in Pennsylvania, where the Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump is returning to address a rally shortly. In fact, Trump will make a pit stop in a former coal mining hub. Pennsylvania, remember, is a key battleground state. Kamala Harris has slammed her political rival for not having any empathy towards people and putting politics above people with his response towards the hurricane disaster. Harris's accusation came in the backdrop of allegations over Trump spreading misinformation about the government's response to Hurricane Helen. out at Donald Trump for a quote-unquote onslaught of lies over hurricanes in the country. And meanwhile, as agencies grapple with disaster relief and mitigation, Trump had repeatedly claimed that the White House is diverting disaster relief aid to unrelated migrant programs. A recent poll shows that majority of black registered voters support Harris. The poll conducted in mid-September found that about 7 in 10 black have a favorable opinion of Kamala Harris, with a few differences between black men and women voters on how they actually view the Democratic candidate. In fact, black voters' opinion of Donald Trump, by contrast, is overwhelmingly negative, underscoring the challenge that the Repub Republican candidate faces as he seeks to erode Harris's support among black men. The FBI says it has arrested an Afghan man in Oklahoma for allegedly plotting an election day quote-unquote terrorist attack. The man, identified as 27-year-old Nasir Ahmad Tuwedi, had been living in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City since entering the U.S. in 2021 on a special immigration. Officials have said that Tuwedi began preparing for the attack in recent weeks by ordering AK-47 rifles, liquidating his family's assets and buying one-way tickets for his wife and child to travel home to Afghanistan. The FBI said Tuwedi was motivated by ISIS. In a statement, the agency's director Christopher Ray said, terrorism is still FBI's first priority. As far as uh, tracking those developments from the U.S. is concerned, back to you, Eric. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.